In this feature video series, I would like to deal a little bit on the latest version of RTOSCAD that has come. So we launched uh, version 16 at Drupa. Cool new features. Um, what I like specifically is how they have made the designing of POP displays much simpler. Uh, first is they have introduced a whole new set of library of parametric designs. You see the symbol here. That means all of these are parametric designs and they are paper design. This is based on voice of customer. People who had huge library, they felt it would be nice if I could constantly generate new designs. That is, ESCO could give them new designs which are parametric and they can pick and choose what they want from. So you can now go to this website called rtoscad.net, download these designs. They will be in ARD format. The best part is each of these designs, when you go inside, you will get to know that there are also the assembly videos, how to assemble them, uh, what's the size, what's the uh, way in which you have to fold and a lot of these details. Yeah. So we have introduced this in, in the latest Drupa version. Now going into RTO sketch software itself, you see this is the new version 16. I like to show a couple of things which are interesting in this. Let me open a design. The new format is called an ACD format, which is a canvas format. Now, earlier, you used to, when you used to make a multiple component POP display design, each of these components, huh, they used to be a separate file and, and more complex when each of these are of different materials. Like in this example that I am showing in, the, these two parts, which are the hangers, are made of acrylic of 4mm. These two parts, which serve as the base plate, are made of ACP material. And then the actual products, which are the packages, they are made out of paperboard. It's a SBS board of 250 GSM. Now, with this new feature called Canvas, you are able to group all of these parts belonging to different materials into a single file called an ACD file. Yeah, and it is populated based on the type of the material. Yeah, so now um, you can see that each of these parts can be renamed, can be marked as non-production, and you can always import a new file as a part or import an existing standard as a new part. Now the other feature I like about version 16 is when I go into the 3D where you just use the standard thing. Most of these cases of designs, you would like to hang these products on top of the base faces. So you used to manually do this uh, by adding hooks. Now there's a cool new feature called add hardware. So you click on that and you'll get a huge library of various hook designs. These are designs which are used standardly in our market, four inch, five inch, six inch. So you can select one of these hooks and then you can say array placement. Now, as the instruction says, the next step is you have to choose the base face where you are going to add these hooks. Quickly, based on the dimensions, the hooks are assembled. But here's the magic. You can select which product or which hardware would go into these hooks. And based on the bounding box and the margin specified, as I click this, you can see that it automatically computes what's the distance and spaces them out equally. Going ahead, you can also fill up these product lines like that. Let me show adding another longer hook. Let's take an eight inch hook and try to clamp it to this base face and select another product. You see, it distributes 
and then you can go on and you can add the rows of these products so it becomes simple now if you are wondering is this just a, a graphical display gimmick which is going to show this not exactly because you can save this yeah let me go and quickly save this as an a3d file yes you can graphically share this along with the artwork but when you get back to your original design you can see that the position of these hooks are automatically created on the 2d part this saves a lot of time for the operator now what i can also do here is because this is going to be acrylic i would need to produce this on a 4 by 8 feet sheet for example so i can go here create a layout let's say let me take my maximum kongsberg machine size that i have in the demo room 1.6 by 3.2 meters and let's say i need a 5 mm gutter with a margin of 10 mm on all four sides I can also pick the standard sizes. I, I, I fill in the sheet and when I say create, quickly it takes the two parts which are under the material and creates you a layout which you can send it directly to your graphic application like Plato where if needed you can put graphics or you can send this, output it directly to RTO SCAD to IPC which runs the Kongsberg table the best part about this is if this material is available in the Kongsberg table list automatically the settings of this like acrylic is picked and the job is executed now let's see what is available within the output so going here as I see there's a zip file and when I extract this zip file you could see that there is a JDF along with an ARD file which is outputted so you can process this ARD file directly within Kongsberg table and get your products output thanks a lot for watching